A common question we get asked by people outside of racing is how do horses get here to race here in Dubai? Well, obviously, they fly, and that can mean that as for humans, the journey can often start pretty early in the morning, in this case, from lovely Zaville stables. Luckily, racehorses are used to an early start, so it was with pricked ears that two Satish Seymour trained fillies, Nailu and Souls in the Wind, met their two specially appointed flying grooms for the first time. Barry and Andy have more than 50 years of experience between them and provided a reassuring presence for the fillies as they were loaded onto the Equitrans float for the trip to Dubai Wild Central. On arrival, we met up with the other Equitrans lorry carrying seven UK-bound polo ponies, just some of around 2,000 horses that the company will transport in a year. David Robson, partner in Equitrans since it was established in 2002, told us more about the process. Essentially, if anybody comes to us, says we want to move one or 10 horses or 15 horses from A to B, what we would do is we'd take on the horses from the stables, we'd either do quarantine wherever the horses are at, if we're allowed to do that there, or establish quarantine at a government quarantine, do all the blood testing, all the vaccinations, get all the documentation in order. And once all the health and veterinary is in order, then the logistics is done. So we'd move a horse essentially from stable to stable. So you get a stall, which is a jet stall, which is, a, which is more like a section of a lorry, a horse box. And in that you'd have three horses to uh, a stall. That's traveling one third. We call that economy. Um, if you have two horses to a stall, then that's business, and then one horse to a stall, uh, that would be first class. And then you go up from there where you've got some owners who would say they've got five horses or three horses. Uh, they want to be at a particular race on a particular day, and then that's chartering an aircraft to do that. So you fly in and out to a particular point that's closest to the racetrack or the place where they're competing. So we're onto the loading bay here, and this is what they call a jet stall or a pallet. As you can see, there's three stalls in here. We've got this one, then this will open out to put the third horse in and one here as well. And they're gonna be pretty cozy. It's well padded if they do kick out. And of course, they've got the nice bed of shavings and they'll get a hay net and some water at the front. Our two fillies will shortly be joined by their new polo pony friend. And they're gonna be pretty snug in here for seven hours. Both Nailu and in particular Souls in the Wind are frequent flyers and loaded without trouble into their jet stall, although the experience of Barry and Andy came into good use when loading the more troublesome polo ponies. We've seen them, them loaded up and they're going to get on the plane shortly and then during the flight where would, would you be most of the flight? Walking up and down just checking on them, make sure they have the hay and water and stuff like that. For takeoff, we can't stay with them anymore it's just with the regulations and stuff like that with the with the aircrafts but then once we take off and we're up at a, at a level we can go back down and, and check on them again and most of them are absolutely fine with being 30,000 feet up they are the most of them they're, they're, they're most of them are frequent you know they're frequent travelers mm. so you know they're, they're well used to it you'd have the odd one 99 percent of them would be all right traveling but then you could might have one or two then they just they could get claustrophobic or scrambling or something like that in it but most of them will travel it you know they're all traveling great. Hay equals a happy horse it seems and our fillies chomped away as they moved the few hundred meters to the plane while we found out some more about the logistics of equine air travel from operations coordinator Ashley. So every horse has to have a passport um, whether they apply for it in their respective country or we can also do it here. Um, there's certain requirements for the passport, so obviously for horses that are importing, um, there has to be vaccination history inside the passport. And for horses exporting, depending on where they're going with what they have to have inside, um, each horse generally has a microchip number which should be recorded on the passport and also a pedigree, like mother, father, who they're the family tree is um, and then obviously just normal details age colour 
six. Yeah. And so when you arrive here, someone would check the horse against the passport? Absolutely, yeah. And we'll always check the microchip number matches the passport. Then it was up, up and away. Hi horses. Two fillies safely off to a new life in the pastures in the UK.